welcome back to my channel so tonight's video is or today's video or tonight's video actually technically i'm going to be doing a night routine i am winding down for the day as you can see in the background it's almost dark um i haven't done a night routine in a while so i thought i'd do one for to, uh, for today's vlog this video also watching tv and i just got done doing the laundry y'all know the bait of my existence <laughs> Um, and I got some on the bed as well. Kenny is out doing his guy thing. He's like working on his cars today. this past weekend and I want to show you all what I got um, nothing crazy literally like a handful of things like three things that I would want to show you real quick um, that I got making sure I didn't forget something um, so anyways so I got this house of Harlow necklace and it's a gold necklace gold obviously not real but it's a stacked necklace you guys know I've been like into stacking my necklaces lately so I finally found one this is all connected um, it comes with this gold plated necklace here um, it comes with this roped gold kind of necklace and then this diamond obviously not real diamond um, it's a 14 by 3 inch layered necklace so or maybe 13 and 13 by whatever um, and it was only $14.99 from Marshall's House of Harlow well, all my jewelry jewelry that I've been getting lately has been from House of Harlow. Um, and then I got this cute headband. Um, this is from the Vintage Cosmetics Shop. It was $4.99. And so cute. I, I, they actually have like a, a green one that I really liked. It was so cute. Um, but I wasn't sure if I had anything that matched it. So I just went ahead and got the black one since black usually goes with just about anything. So cute headband. And then I got this bodysuit um this is from aura this is in a size medium large um and it's like a ribbed a gray black ribbed bodysuit and i actually wore it it was so cute it was warm this weekend so i ended up wearing it i forgot to show you guys when i got it but yeah so cute loved it so that's my marshall's haul <laughs> all right in the kitchen Trying to be hyped, stay hydrated more. I'm so bad at not drinking water. I know it's a first world problem, but when I moved out of my parents' house, like obviously our fridge doesn't have like a water like available, like you have to use a purifier. So like I just don't reach for water as much. Again, first world problem. But at least I can have a purifier and purify my water. Like seriously. But I just haven't been as good at drinking water. But I'm trying to because my skin hates me. Our Christmas lights are so cute. I love them. This doesn't give it justice. It looks so much better in person. But 
I like them. I even like the new lights that we got. Kenny bought these at a, at a uh, where did he get these? The white lights that are on the thing. What is this, the awning, whatever you call it. Where did he get those? From like a, a yard sale. He came home with those. I'm like, what the heck? All right, let me down this. I am so thirsty. If you're thirsty, it's too late. That's what, it, that's what they tell us in the army. All excited, and then you came home limping. What happened? Oof, working on Patrick Carp, boy. Been an old boy. <laughs> Why did I tell you about overexerting yourself? You know your back is gonna hurt. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the chips. Oh, no problem. <laughs> I ate them all already. <laughs> well, no stuff. He brought me home some hot Cheeto puffs. My favorite. These are better than Takis. Yeah, I, I already ate them all. Dang. Okay. It wasn't that much. Well, that's what we was eating on this morning. This is what you ate for breakfast? Yep. Kenny. And I just left him in the car. We left him in the car until we got to, uh, what's we call? But yeah, that, uh... You cannot eat this for breakfast. But yeah, uh, what I got? 286? 286? Yeah, I think you said something like that. 286. No, no, I thought it was for like uh, everybody, but it's just for employees. Oh, okay. So, it's at 6.30. It's not till 6.30. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, All right. Like, nothing. <laughs> My guilty pleasure and it's like a chicken thigh two pieces of okra thanks no social cues <laughs> I bought this years ago and I just started using it more um, do my skincare routine and then I'm gonna call it a night. It's already kind of late. Anyways, so my skin has been hating me lately. Hating me. Um, and I've been breaking out under my jawline, like all under here. I haven't broken out like that in so long. Ugh, oh my god, so I got to uh, get a grip so I'm cutting I'm trying to cut out pretty much all sugar like processed sugar and just drink water 
and see if that will help and then obviously like my diet needs to change which I don't really necessarily eat bad I just don't eat good if that makes sense like I could probably use some more you know veggies fruits and stuff um, but I think first and foremost starting with cutting out sugar and drinking more water will definitely help because this is not good it's pretty bad so I'm definitely gonna have to start reincorporating salicylic acid like some sort of ingredient like that in my skincare routine again because I actually stopped because I wasn't breaking out um but I'm obviously gonna have to start doing that again so if you guys have any recommendations Something with salicylic acid. I know there's like other active ingredients that help combat acne um, that you guys like to use and love. Let me know. And I will definitely be doing that. That just looks horrible. Um, I guess I'm thankful it's not like directly like on my face. Like you can't really see it unless I like, go like that. But obviously I know it's there. And there's a reason why it's there. <laughs> Put my eye cream on. Not eye cream, eye stick. This is the Tula's Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Eye Balm. It's an eye brightening balm. I just like it because it feels really good. I don't know if it does anything crazy. Honestly, it smells like glue. on and call it a night. I will see you all in tomorrow's video.